Google Tasks tutorial. How to use Google Tasks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with Google Tasks, which is a platform provided by Google that can help you in managing your day to day tasks. Now, these are super easy to use and can be a really great way to manage your daily tasks. However, for a more deeper understanding of project management or for larger tasks that can be a bit more of a hierarchy task, I wouldn't recommend Google Tasks as a all-in-one task manager for work, but Google Tasks is a great tool to use if you're someone that is always on the go and is looking for just a simple task manager, like a simple checklist that can help you in making sure that their day-to-day -day is happening on time. So let's jump right into Google Tasks. Now, Google Tasks has a application that you can install on Android devices. Now, currently this is not available for iOS devices and um, MacBooks, but you can actually use this on Android devices, Chromebooks, TVs, and tablets. Now, this is one application that you can use. However, there is a desktop app provided by a third-party provider called Tasks Board. Now, Tasks Board allows you to add a board and you can, you know, add a board via your email account. And from there, you can just enter a task over here. You will see your completed tasks at the bottom. When you enter a task over here on Tasks Board, a task will be created directly in your task on Google Tasks. So although you don't have a direct interface on Mac or your personal device, you still can easily use Google Tasks. Now, the primary use of Google Tasks is not even on their application, but the primary use of Google Tasks is in conjunction with Google Calendar and Google Mailboxes. So if you're someone that is using Google Calendar to schedule their meetings, to make sure that, you know, they're working on time, then Google Tasks is such a great tool to keep you on track. So on the top right of your calendar, if you open up your Google Calendar, you will see the option of switch to tasks. So if you click on switch to tasks over here, this will provide you with a desktop interface. So I have not been using Tasks Board anymore because of this recent way that has helped us in just using all our tasks directly on the calendar. But if you still want to add your tasks separately, you can always do it on the task board. Now let's go into our task manager on Google Calendar. So to get started, you will see on the left, you have a section of all your tasks. Below that, you have any of your starred tasks and then any of your task lists. So you have a general list called my tasks, then you can create a new list. So I can create a grocery list like this and I can add my groceries there. Or for more complicated and longer tasks, let's say this is going to be my university tasks like this. And now I can go into the university tasks list. Now from here, I can click on add task, which might be to, let's say to get my internship verified like this. And below that, I can even add some details. Visit the student support center to get more info like this. And obviously the scope of the task is going to determine how much detail you're going to provide. So if you have a really general task, like maybe to take your classes or to get a good GPA, you're going to add that as like a really big task. And then under that, you can add more detail on how you're going to accomplish that or how you're going to categorize a successful uh, career or semester. Now, Below that, you can add a due date. So let's say I'm supposed to do this like on the next Monday and I'm supposed to do it at 9 a.m. Then I can click on OK. And just like that, our simple task has been created. Now, with each task that you create on Google Task, when you add the task, you can click on your calendar and you will see your calendar will now show your task. And if you want, you can remove that by simply unchecking the option of tasks from the left panel. However, I find this to be honestly the most useful feature of Google Tasks is that all of my tasks get synced up on my calendar and I never forget anything, you know, adding things on Google because 
it always just pops up because you have Google logged in everywhere. And if you're not going to get a notification on your desktop, then you're going to get it on your phone. If you don't get it on your phone, you can get it on your watch. So it's a really amazing system that can help you in reminding things, especially if you're like me and you often forget things you have to do. And writing them down in a task is really helpful, even if you write them down in uncategorized ways. Now, once you've added your task, let's say I have a larger task, for example, uh, let's say I have to complete my final project. Now, obviously, this is a really big task. It most definitely is going to have multiple different elements within that. So I can click on a newly created task and click on the right dots. Once I click on these dots, I can click on add subtask and I can actually add a subtask. So for that, I have to shoot the video recording. Then I have another subtask and I can just click on return or enter to move towards the next subtask. Once I do that, I can add my next subtask. So let's say our next subtask is to trim the video, create a voiceover, edit and compile, final edit, or let's say it's just edit and compile and then get professor's approval like this and then after that let's say i have to further go on ahead and maybe do something else so you can add all of that and each subtask can have its own details and each subtask can be created in the form of a new list or it can be unindented or it can have different due dates so let's say i want to shoot the video and recording tomorrow so i can add a date and then i can also set a time for that like this then after that, I have to trim or edit the video, create the voiceover. Let's say I don't really have a due date for that. But for the editing and compilation, I want to do that by the next week. So even if I don't add a due date for certain elements of the task, I still can move towards the next subtask and add a due date for that. Now below that, let's say this is the final section. So if I check on one option like this, if I'm marking these complete like this, and once I've done all of my subtasks, I can mark my final task complete as well. However, if you mark all of your subtasks complete, but you don't mark your final task complete, it still won't be marked as complete until you mark it as completed. Now, another really helpful tool that you're going to find with Google Tasks is how it is integrated into Gmail. So, you know, taking a look at my mail is the worst part of my day because it's just so tedious and having to, you know, take a look at what people are saying and then converting that into tasks is just so hard and keeping track of everything is so hard. So an easy way to keep track of everything is you can do a right click on any of your Gmails and on the right, you will see labels. You can add labels, you can move them to, but you should be able to see this option right under snooze, which is called add to tasks. So I can just click on add to tasks and on the right, the direct email will be added as a task. And if I click on the email, this would open up the direct email that I've received. And if you're working on your, you know, you're checking on your mail and you find something that you want to add as a task, just click on the right panel over here where it has this checkbox icon. Once you click on this, you can click on add task and add tasks in any of your lists. If I want to create it in my university task, my task, or any of my start tasks, or even create a new list as I go and browse through my mail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Google Tasks. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.